Hello everybody, my name is Uday Singh and welcome to Weekly Tech. So here what we are trying to do is to use uh, Node.js and uh, a package which is very famous in Node.js, uh, Node uh, the package name is Node Mailer to send emails uh, in a very efficient and very easy way. So, so the basic idea behind sending an email is to have an SMTP server. So we need an SMTP server to send the emails. So for uh, even for my own uh, website, I am using Mailgun's free SMTP server. So they are providing a free SMTP server uh, which can send up to 1000 emails per month. For 1000 emails per month, it's free of cost. But only the problem is uh, you can send to your only registered email ID, not to any other email ID. So it will be beneficial in the case when you are generating a contact me form, contact us form, where you don't want to send any mail to the user. But on the same hand, when users say contact, so by default, it, uh, when user fills all the all the forms, all the details in the form, and click on submit button, you will receive a mail that will be beneficial and very free of cost so till now I have delivered tried to deliver 90 mails and all of them are uh, delivered perfectly so let's try to uh, not to waste our time and let's try to send a mail so for that uh, I have node.js installed so you you the first step is you should have node.js installed so we need some basic libraries like uh, node mailer first of all and uh, dot env to hide our environment variables to hide the smtp details and all so i won't uh, show it to you guys uh, what are my details so uh, basically uh, you need a smtp uh, host a username and a password that you can uh, easily get uh, from after creating a uh, profile or an account on Mailgun then you can click on uh, your uh, sending and then you can uh, click on your domains and then you, you can easily and uh, then you can click on the domain to get your ID and password so I'm not going to show it to you guys but uh, what I'm going to do is to uh, I'll create a dot env variable here I'll pause the video for some time and I'll put my details over here and uh, I'll open my gmail account to show you guys that whether the email has sent or not so let's not waste more time so I think these are the only two things that we need for now to send the mail so let's install it first I'm sorry we need to be a minute package name version description okay guys so let's try to install all the dependencies again npm install nodemailer.env okay so both of the dependencies are installed so let's quickly create a dot env file and uh, create a git ignore file dot git ignore and uh, place a node underscore modules and dot env here so that we won't accidentally push it so then create an app.js file which uh, will have all the code So the first thing that we want is uh, to load the env variables so the require dot env dot config so the next thing that we want is uh, node mailer itself
and yeah that's it so let's uh, create a transporter so what transporter is the transporter is nothing but uh, it has all the details of your SMTP server your user ID and password uh, of the SMTP server transporter uh, is responsible to carry your email data to the SMTP server and then SMTP server will uh, forward it or send it to your uh, uh, mail ID that you have defined in the two variable so let's quickly create a transporter first equal to node mailer dot create transport and here we'll have to give all our details such as uh, your host host will be uh, something like smtp dot for you you can also use google's uh, free smtp server that you'll that you will uh, get around uh, 3000 emails per month uh, but i prefer mailgun because it's easy to set up and it's very fast and free so i'll take the uh, data from my environment variables now the second thing is uh, port so i'll take a port as uh, 587 secure will be false we don't want to go with tls and auth will be will auth will have our details like username and password process dot env dot smtp underscore user sorry I missed the comma password will be process dot env dot smtp underscore pass so that's it i think we have done with this so we need uh, so we have the transporter now let's create a function and we and then we'll call that function to send the mail so let's name that function be send mail equal to it won't receive anything from us so now we have to uh, give all the options like uh, uh, to whom we want to send the list of the send uh, users attachment and all so it will be like uh, from from whose email id is going so uh, my registered mail id on mailgun is uh, in 236 gmail.com as I told you in the starting that only this email ID will get uh, uh, will be filtered out uh, rest of the email IDs uh, you won't uh, uh, you won't get okay so it's from so from will be anything so it's like you can also like info either reply no reply and the rate uh, Uday Singh like so it can be any any random uh, but uh, correct email ID otherwise you won't get the mail uh, it will go into your spam so that is al also one thing with the mail gun uh, many times it will it went to, to your spam so once uh, this mail ID info at the rate or whatever you are going to, uh, giving in the from uh, key so you can go to a spam folder and say that okay i don't say it's a spam so whenever you receive a mail from this id it will directly go to your inbox uh, so two will be will only be your registered mail id on mailgun it won't be anything so keep this thing in mind otherwise the mailgun won't send it to uh, now the subject So welcome to to okay this is a test mail so 
so let's give it example.com because I already said to my gmail filter that allow ojsync.xyz so I'll give example.com so I think it will enter the spam and I'll show it to you how to do it so in the HTML data you can uh, provide your HTML strings so here we are providing a simple h1 tag this is is not a spam so that's it we have the options loaded so let's use the transporter that we have just created to send a mail using the main options and uh, it won't return a promise to you if you don't know promise then do check my other video I have uh, explained promises in a very uh, good and easily grabbing uh, you can grab it easily and a very uh, uh, in a very deep manner so do check that video I'll provide the link in the description so it uh, it handles a callback so it won't take a promise as I said so if there is an error then you can see console console.log error well, that's mail mail sent info dot response okay and in the end let's call this function send mail so I'm pausing the video for some time uh, just to fill my environment variables uh, with the details so I'm pausing for now okay guys uh, welcome back I have configured my .env file and uh, now let's try to send a mail uh, before that I just want to correct one thing I have write a capital M uh, in the send email function here so you should correct it to small m otherwise it will give you an error so let's try to send a mail okay so this is wrong version number so this should be because of SSL but we have said uh, oh false should not be in quotes it's treating it as a string so let's try again hope so it will work now it's taking time so I think it will work yeah it, it worked so we I need to check my e email inbox so let's check do I whether I have received on the mail or not or does it went into the spam folder okay I have received it so uh, maybe most of the time you can uh, you must have seen it in your uh, spam folder so that's it guys it worked it worked very very smoothly uh, just for a quick rewind uh, you can put all your SMTP uh, just for the sake of simplicity and you won't face any problem when you are creating your .env file write something like SMTP underscore URL equal to mail dot SMTP dot Google something like this no need to provide uh, quotes no need to provide and especially take care of uh, semicolon or colon what you say it use equal to because otherwise the dot env file won't be able to uh, the dot env package won't be able to find your variables and uh, you will suffer for more hours because I have faced this problem earlier during my initial development days that's why I'm telling it to you so that's it guys thank you for watching this video and uh, don't worry about the source code I am pushing this uh, source code to my github profile and the github profile is uh, I have mentioned the link of my github profile in the description the package name is uh, send email node send mail node JS. you can find it do mention your comments and suggestions in the comment box and please hit the like button and uh, the subscribe button 
so that uh, it can help me to create more and more videos in the retail fashion thanks a lot guys thank you